Hello everyone, I'm Nicky Rose, and welcome back to the 1990 game, 1990s game, Knox. So, yeah. Let's see if I can actually get this game to completion. Um, let's see, I have to hit... Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool, I forgot that. You have this little thing over here, and it shows your character. Okay. So, like, what you can do, I think, you can go like this. So, you can go and you can banish it, or you can have it guard you. Or, I think it's guarding this area exactly. Yeah. It guards this area exactly. Or, escort. So, it follows you and protects you from anything attacking. Or, you can have it go out and hunt other creatures down. Oh yeah, I'm already full of apples. Okay. Yeah, I got two. <laughs> and these aren't the best um, creatures to have because they die in one hit because they only have one health. I think it said that in the journal. Creature is cave spider. Maybe not. Hmm. Could have swore it would tell you its health. And death. <laughs> death. So yeah, this again. If you watched the first episode of this, this is a, just a nostalgic game that I wanted to play. Picked it up. I mean, it may not be for everybody. I mean, like, it, a lot of people probably have never even heard of this game, because there's this um, one person I talked to that's a trans male that, I mean, they're around the same age, but I guess they never played this game or heard of it. So, I don't know, maybe it was just, you know, how I grew up. Just I grew up around, like, video games and that kind of stuff. I mean, really, I grew up around PC games because my dad was like a crazy person on PC. Huh? I just saw a huge spider crawl toward the mayor's house. Hope he's all right. He's definitely afraid of spiders. Who the fuck are you? Good for that. Um. Feel free to look around. I'm here if you need anything. What's this one? Vampirism. Ooh. Basically, what that is is you can suck the life out of um someone else. I'm pretty sure like an enemy or whatnot. Okay. Actually, give me a second here. Let me check this. Is this better than the one I have? 28, 5, 25. Different color. 20, 20, 20. Where's my other spider? There he is. Thank goodness. A conjurer. Yeah, you talked Go to me inside. before. The mayor is still held up in his chambers. Yeah, um, you say you don't want spiders around. I have two spiders following me. Whatever. Finally, a conjurer has come to my aid. Yes, I have. These cursed arachnids are worse than the pox. My guard tried to kill them, but they keep coming back. My only hope is that you somehow charm the spiders and drive them out. Okay. The spiders are in my study. There, through the double doors. Please, be careful. Did your guards die? Okay. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So, some of the animals take up bigger spaces. See? So, yeah. If, you know, some bigger animals take up bigger spaces, why I couldn't conjure it. I couldn't, you know, take it before. 
I'm pretty sure he doesn't like it, so I have to guard out here. Huh? I shall not emerge till the spiders are gone. Use your charm spell to control them and banish them. Uh, Hurry before they multiply again. Hmm. I, I guess I gotta banish them. Okay. Bye. Which is weird that why was the cave spider be taken up, but also there was a black widow looking spider. You did it? They're gone? Really gone? No. Goodbye. And so you gain experience and you gain levels. But I don't think you gain anything when you gain levels as a conjurer. Yeah, that was interesting. I'm just gonna thank you. Brave conjurer, my mm. deepest thanks. You are worthy of your new title. The guards will be informed that you are now free to come and go from Ix as you please. Okay. Take this gold as payment for your service. I insist. I'm not going to say no. 500, jeez. What is this oh, this is the home of Mayor Theogrin. Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay. Not like they were stopping me from going. Are coming at all. Now, what do I do? Oh, I think I gotta go back to what's his face. Yeah, I think I gotta go back to Alduin and show him I did this. I still don't think I can. I heard about the necromancer that made a surprise visit. And no. Yeah, good for you. Is this door open now? No. Okay. The fuck was that? Yeah, I think I can go this way without having any issues. God damn it. I, this is a new recording bit, so I bring back the map. Yeah, I think everything stays dead. That's one thing. It's not like, um, you know, RPGs because stuff doesn't respawn. It's just they're dead, and that's it. Which makes some part of this game a little easier, because in the later parts you gotta go through like a wizard, like temple, or tower, and at some point, I, like when I was playing as the warrior, at some point you get your ass basically almost handed to you at every instance because they have like magic spells that instantly kill you, so you basically have to go out and it's you know it's a big tower, so you gotta go out through you know the tower you know, like. Grab stuff, sell it, upgrade your, um, repair your armor, and get stuff like back to working, and then go back in and start slaughtering again. Which in this game, like, um, I must return to my studies. Something is strangely amiss in our land, and I must learn its cause. I can tell you the cause. Now, what the fuck am I doing? What am I doing? So tell me. Maybe here. Find Aldwin, blah, blah, blah. Find Stolen Boots, Charm, Banish Spiders. Okay. Do I have to go back to see the old man that brought me here? Oh, I didn't even see this. But yeah, this game is just... its I don't know, it's just something to enjoy. I mean, it does get harder when you, you get farther into it, but it, it's not really that tough of a game. It's just, you know, knowing what to do to basically... What's the best weapon? What do you gotta do to survive? What you need? Like, what's your best gear? What's, like, with this, with the conjurer, what's the best animal to... to tame or to um, to conjure up because I think at some point you are able to conjure the beast out of thin air like are you're able to just make them disappear but hopefully I can find out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing now because I think I can go out this way now can I Oh, look, an imp. Wild beasts have invaded the mana mines, threatening many workers. 
One from our ranks must go. Take charge. Okay. And tame these abominable creatures. Are you saying I should? Okay, I don't remember b being able to do that. But, um... I'm brand new, so it's like, send this guy out. I have an uneasy feeling about the timing of this violence at the Mana Mines, lad. I Brutal guess attacks the against old guys from the beginning was like creatures, Immediately thing. halting production just when we got it up and running again. Our hour of need is nigh. Drive out the creatures, lad. I thought Save the Mana the Mines were controlled by the wizards, but I guess piece. not. Also, I kind of screwed myself a little bit on my other playthrough. Good luck in the mines, boy. Watch out for the bandits on the way. Huh? The mana mines are to the west of the crossroad. Um, but what I mean is that I forgot that really all you have is the quick saves, and unless you go into like if you unless you go into it and hit save. Unless you've done that, and if you kept your stuff on, like the quick save data, and you've started a new game, or there's a new save, like a new like auto save, you lost all that, um, all of that progress that you made. So I think I've lost a bit of war progress on my warrior character, but oh well. This is a robbery. Your death, money death, and death, your death, life. death. You're welcome. Do that. Uh. Oh, I think you also can heal your conjured beast as well. Um. Ah! Nope. Ow. Get him. Poison beast bullshit. Ha! Ow! Nothing? Nothing? Oh. Ow. There's also for poison because it just came up there's also where you can um, eat mushrooms to cure poison but it has a status effect that makes you sick I guess that up. it's also when you pick up food you automatically eat it if you're low on health welcome to our hallowed shop we offer goods for the full range of a conjurer's needs what do you have charm creature already have that Cure poison, uh, no. Wait, wait, no, I'll go to a different person to do that. You're not going to find anybody around here with better prices. Well, really, because there's no one else nearby? First off, sell, yes. Sell, sell. Is this better than the one I have? Nope, just different color. Okay. Sell that. Anything else I can get rid of? Nope. What do you have to pick up? Arrow, arrow. Ooh, bows. Bow of swiftness. Let's see. Total damage is blank for some reason. Base strength. Weight. Why does this not have its... Quiver bow, quiver shoots a bow, and arrow can use con by conjurers. Interesting. I think this one is better because it's faster, maybe, but I'll get it anyway, so I can have a, okay, which one's my better one? I think this is the better one. Five, wait, what? Five point, what is it that different before? Oh, because I leveled up. Okay, okay. So, yeah, I can sell this. No. Sell. That. Yes. Okay. Okay, then I can exit out. Go back in. Equipped it. So now I have a bow of swiftness, which I'm guessing is better than the regular bow because it's faster. I forgot to repair my shit. Welcome. God damn it. New here, aren't you? Your money is still good with me. What do you have? Eh, crap. Get my stuff repaired, though. 
repair that. And also, after a certain point, like repairing stuff takes up so much money. That's why it was an issue with my warrior class. Because I was going to repair my stuff because all the stuff I had was getting busted or getting worn out to a point where it could have broken. But then I couldn't repair it because I didn't have enough money. So I had to go out. You know, I had to go into it, grab all the robes and stuff from the, the wizard that were dropping. Then I would, um, is this the right way? Yes. I would grab all their stuff, go out. Um, can I conjure him yet? Nope. Ah. Ooh, okay. Where do you think you're going, motherfucker? Ah. Ha. See, he was coming back here because if he could have got to this point, he could have grabbed the food and eaten it and regained health. Which I'm pretty sure that's just to teach you that you can drop, um, like, drop food items for your animals that you've charmed or conjured to give them health. Hi. You have arrived. Lives are at stake. Please hurry to the mines just west down the path. The okay. foreman is waiting for you outside the miner's lodge. He'll direct you from there. Good for that, I guess. See, like that, I would have lost all my data. What took you so long to get here? I was we have a told. horrible problem. Horrific overgrown insects and airborne demons from the underworld airborne have demons? overrun the mines. Mine workers have died in defense of Nox's vital interests. Please, we beg you, clear the beasts from the mines, rescue my miners, okay. and I shall reward you handsomely. This key will unlock the door to the first trap mine worker. He will help you find the others. Are you sure? I also have a beast scroll which should be quite useful. Okay, good. So I guess... So you got to have... Oh, shit. Should have bought those scrolls then. Because I think you have to have the scroll to be able to, con to tame the beast. Don't mind me, I'm just busting your stuff in here. Hey, look, rats! Death! I don't even give you experience points, but that's... How gross is that? That you bust open the wine jug, and there's rats on the inside. Like, ew, they were drinking that. Okay, is there anything, anything in here? Don't mind me, Foreman. Uh, what kind of bow is that? Just an, uh, a regular bow. So the one I have is actually better. Oh. Because it's swift. And I'll sh probably show you the difference between the regular bow and the bow swiftness. Hey guys, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Mine. Don't mind me. Before I come and save your lives, I'm gonna steal all your shit. It's also that this is gonna happen a lot where I get stuck on stuff. Because it's a PC game and just a like point and follow the arrow. So I'm going to get stuck on a lot of stuff. And a lot of this stuff is movable and like there's also destructible stuff that you can deal with. Okay, so now to the mind. So I can tame imps, but that's it. So not to self, next time buy beast scrolls. So I can tame them. Hello? Get those up and ready. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Big fucking spider. Those fuckers can poison you. And after a certain point, you can actually exhaust these crystals to the point where they don't have anything. Okay, this is gonna be good, so I can go out there to go pew! Ha 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 ha. And I can also do this. Pew! It's probably not safe to do in, you know, like a mine. Ooh, is that a fake wall? 
that was. I guess the fake walls have different looking like attributes of them. Ooh. You cost 10 tracks nearby. Interesting. So I guess I can track animals now? And I guess this means you can do it to different things. Or like down means towards you and the other ones means to other animals or things nearby. Five workers are trapped in the mines below us. Okay. If we hurry, we may be able to save all of them. No. Nah. I can guard and operate the elevators while you search for the workers. Oh, Take okay. this key and use it to release the first worker. He'll have another key to give you when you free him. This is what they call a fetch quest. Let's go. Follow me. Over here. I guess you're supposed to be able to save all these guys. I'll wait here. Oh, good. Don't mind me. Follow me. I'll wait right here. Where? Which way do I go? Do I go this way? I guess. I guess it doesn't really fucking matter. The reason I'm going slow is because I kind of want to do that. See, now I have this little guy. So now... Okay, that for some reason... Kept from... The old one, I guess. Spooky spider. Oh, look! I can pick that up. That's the mushroom that you can eat for poison. But again, it makes you all fucked up if you do. Holy shit! That's also why you need poison potions, because the trolls, which that's a troll, those motherfuckers, when they die, they leave shit behind, or poison behind, to make it so you can't cross for some fucking reason. Okay. Is there anything I can tame? Ha! Yes. Okay. Come on, bud. Ha! I got two now. Yay. I don't believe you can actually transform into imps and holy shit. Run away. Run away. Run away. I don't know if I can kill that thing on my own yet. But I don't want to risk it, and I don't also want to risk the poison because I don't want to have to waste a mushroom or have to deal with it being with it being drunk. Okay. I guess the other imp died. Okay, I do still gain experience points when the imps that I've conjured kill them, because I was afraid I was wasn't getting the experience points. Don't mind me down here taking your gold from, I guess... Why is there chest full of gold down here? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Did I win? Thank you for freeing me. Please <clears throat> help me back to the elevator. I used this key to lock myself in here. Take it. You need it to release another trapped worker. Okay. Oh, I wonder if that's the guy with the shirt I took from the chest. <laughs> Okay. What the hell? What? Don't know. No idea what the hell that was saying. What the- Oh, fucking more things spawned. Can I? Dude, no. Oh, I can do that. Okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. I for I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. I thought it was ah fucking hell, motherfucker. And death. What the? Okay. I can't remember to change back to the damn staff. 
I guess they make it difficult to go back instead of making it where it's just too easy to run back. Ha! Got another imp. Where are these imps coming from? Are they coming from the necromancers? More spiders, more spiders. Another imp. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay! I got three now. How did I get the scroll for the big spider then? Cause you gotta have the scroll. I'm safe, thank you. Yeah, whatever. Eeny meeny miny this one. Whack whack. <sighs> so again, like I said in the last episode, I'm pretty sure I said that I was gonna do face cam. Which I want to do more face cam on other videos. But this one, it's physically impossible to do because the. I mean, this is not the window that it comes out in the recording equipment, and I don't know how the window works because the size. Ooh. Cool. I didn't have to buy it then. I think I have to banish you. Banish. And then I can go like this and go, Mike. Yes? Yes! Yay! Pick up, okay. But yeah, this was just being physically impossible to do face cam on. But I want to do face cam on other videos. I'm gonna work on that and get that set up so I can't. But bear with me, because also, when I wanna do face cam, I wanna have makeup on because I don't wanna look like a pile of garbage. What's this? This was nothing. This was nothing. Besides getting the ability to charm a wolf. Okay. It's also it's kind of annoying. It's like your beast or whatnot kind of lag behind. Run away. Doggy, come back. Okay. And now what I have to do is I have to give him this drop then he gets all confused but he's healed then I can drop this and he'll eat once he stops being insane see now it's back up to health which again I didn't know that when I was younger I just figured that out when I started playing this game recently so yeah it's all cool and the only reason I learned that because I was fighting a wolf in the warrior player the was doing and the wolf ran into this little like cove and ate food and gained health back it was harder to fight like oh okay I never knew that when I was younger so yeah you learn stuff every every time ow motherfuckers ow 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 okay I need health I think, I think when when I was younger, one of these times I wanted to learn like these hand signals to try to, I guess when I was a kid to be able to do the hand signals and try to do the magic. I guess I don't know. Run away! Run away! Run away! Okay, you guard. Is the wolf is a lot better thing than these guys. Run away. Okay, now you can escort. But also, the reason with bows is like I think with the bow you can hold down the like the left mouse button and you'll just continue to fire. But with the warriors, you have to keep like mashing the button to swing and whatnot. Thank you for freeing me. Please help me back to the elevator. I you Yeah, yeah, shut up. Don't mind me, I'm just taking your gold here. I definitely want that. Anything else here? No? Okay. What new fight is gonna be? Come on, little spiders, I kill you quickly! I don't know. It might be. I'm just thinking back to when I played this before. 
but I don't know if you actually get spells like the the wizards do, but I can't remember for the life of me. This way? No, this way. Because there's some like spells that are like I massive attacks. Okay. And I think now for the last one. Why are there trolls down here? I can, get ba I can understand bats, I can understand maybe spiders, but imps and trolls, those are something that probably shouldn't be. Like this part is like the easiest part of this game. Where you just walk through and holy shit, maybe not. I was wrong, I was wrong, come back. Okay, let's go this way then. Fake wall? Nope, no fake walls. Okay. Ow. Why would you ever want to stun yourself? Like, no, you can't. Okay. You can also, like, switch between your sets of spells. Like, you can organize it where you, like, it's like keystroke through. Okay. You guys guard while I take care of this fire. They should have made this a little easier to take out fire like this. Oh, it went out. Okay. It's also you can accidentally banish your your creatures on accident. If you hit the wrong like when you're cycling through for it. Okay, let's get through this. This way? Okay, that fucker's dead. Spider, 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 spider. Oh, I thought my wolf died. I lost the imp. Is there a quick button to do that? I don't know. I don't know if there's a quick button to like switch your like spell cast. There might be, there might not be. I don't know. Again, I when I played this game before, I just cheated through and just had everything complete, like had all the levels and like I don't know. It was just a thing you did when I was I did when I was younger. It's just like you basically cheated through because you couldn't play the game on your own. That's also why I bought this game again so I could play it and not be a cheating little shit. Okay. So. Yeah, I don't care. Die already. Let's see. Fake wall? No. Where the fuck are these things coming from? Good doggy. I'm pretty sure they don't eat. They wouldn't eat actually apples. Holy shit, almost died there. It's also, uh, that's another reason why I'm not the best playing this game, because I don't really Thank watch my health, me. Please because I was used to, to not elevator. worrying about health. So, yeah. And you see me doing that, I just try to jump into my recording thing to check my mic audio. What? Can't do that. Because I can't go outside this window or it breaks it. Okay, so going back through another fight. Another fight? Yes? No? Maybe? Oh no, there's a bat. Nope, not that way. This way? This way. Oh no, scary bats. Whatever would we do? Is it this way? I think so. Yes. Okay. I made it. Thank you. Did I win? Are we done here? Excellent. 
I'll start the elevator now. Take this key. It's for the locked doors down below. Okay. There you go. But before I go down there and do all that, I want to. I'm gonna end the video. And well, I'm gonna end it here because this video is now like another 40 minutes. Which I'm trying to make these videos not so long, but try to actually get story through. But before I go, I want to thank everyone for watching and remind everyone to comment down below if you like this game, if you don't like this game, if you've known it or heard about it. It'd be great to hear, you know, other 90s kids that like this game. And, you know, share the video with whoever you like. Because if you enjoy it, maybe other people may like it. And don't forget to subscribe. The more people you I can get to subscribe to me, the sooner I can get onto ad revenue and trying to, you know, make this my full-time job. But it's all going to be a work in progress. But, yeah, thanks everybody. And I want to remind you guys, you're not alone out there. You just got to go out there and find someone that will be able to support you and be there for you. They may not be your family. They may not be your friends right now. But, you know, you can't be picky about people that are out there willing to support you. You may want your family to be there, but if your family is not willing to support you, you're going to have to find someone else. But just be strong and be hopeful about finding the right person for you. See ya.